All right. Well, hello everybody. Today we are working on the six cylinder engine. Um, we have done a lot of work so far today. We put the camshaft in, we put the crankshaft in. All of the mains are torqued down to their specification out of the manual. Uh, we do have one, two, three, four, five of the six pistons installed. And so right now we're gonna show you how how we install the pistons onto the engine blocks, onto the onto the crankshaft. So here's kind of my workstation over here. When you're working in the backyard, you kind of want to keep it uh, as dust-free as you possibly can, but seeing that it's near impossible because we are outside and it's not a controlled environment, use blankets and the blankets, you know, they kind of mitigate the dust problem. So here's our last piston here. So um, there's no connecting rod bearings in right now. So we're gonna take the cap off. Okay. Now I always just put a little bit of oil where the bearings go, just a little bit, not a ton, not even like, just like the thinnest layer. Okay. And that one's gonna sit there for a while. Uh, next thing we do is we're gonna put oil onto the rings. This waffle ring here just eats up the oil, it holds so much oil. And then I put some on the top. You just wanna do this so that as you run the engine by hand, when you're, of course, not starting it, when you're running it by hand, you don't want it to like scratch up your, your cylinder bores. So after you get oil all on the thing, you're gonna put this uh, compressing tool. I just do it like this. You just put it over the rings. And I just make sure that the bottom of the compressing tool covers the last rings. And you use this little four-sided key to compress the rings. Right, next, we gotta put the bearings in. So, you gotta make sure that this part of the bearing right here lines up with that part of the bearing location on the connecting rod. So that goes there. And then you push the bearing down into place. Just like that. And since the, we are assembling an engine, we use engine assembly lubricant. All right. All right, so come on over here. This is the sixth connecting rod location on the crankshaft right here. And we're going to lift the engine here. There, the piston is marked with a front that direction. You can kind of see in there, it's an FRT on an arrow pointing that way. So just kind of set this in there, just real soft, nice and easy. Then you use the rear end of the hammer, kind of punch it out of your tool. As you're gonna press it down the rest of the way, you just wanna make sure that your connecting rod bolts don't come in contact um, with the crankshaft journal. That'd be really bad to scratch that thing up. So then we turn it over and there it is. So the connecting rod cap, again, you line up the little spots on the bearing with the cap so that they line up real nice. So since we're assembling an engine again, you put engine assemb assembly lubricant. Now, these little spots right here allow oil into the journal as the engine is running. And so they have to line up with each other. Then you put your cat bolts on. I've already torqued the others. These go to 33 foot pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and snug that. And we'll snug this side. I pretty snug down, so let's get them torqued. Kind of want to snug them down little by little so that they can get quick. It's quick, alright, so. This one needs to be Oh, there it is. And all the pistons are installed. Little by little, we'll complete the long block and then we'll start building the rest of the engine. There it is. Okay. 